Hey there guys, we're taking a look at Rainbow Six Siege running on the AMD Ryzen 5 5500U with 16GB of RAM. Now the game is currently running the in-game benchmark. On the left you can see that the game is running on the, the low setting and then on the right it's running on the medium setting and this is the in-game benchmark. As you can see it's also running on the Vulkan API at 1080p. Now the performance that we're getting out of the game at both of these settings is decent enough, though I would lean towards playing it at the low settings just because I want to maximize the FPS, but you can see here that the difference isn't so substantial enough where if you wanted to play with the medium settings if you can do it i just don't see why you would because visually it doesn't look really any better at all it just kind of performs a little bit worse and you can see a major difference in ram usage here where even already at the low settings we are using up almost 14 gigabytes of ram but once we turn it up to the medium setting it starts to eat up even more than that so it's one of those things where i personally just would not play at medium but we're going to take a look at what the other settings also perform form like. Here you can see on the left the game running at the high settings and then on the right it's running at the very high settings. While there's not really that big of a difference between the two in terms of performance really, we are starting to get into the territory where we're eating up a lot of RAM here and we are going below 60 FPS while playing here. Again, not a major difference between the two settings. Visually speaking though, it does look better than the low setting. I just don't see what the benefit of those visuals would be in a game like this and it's not so much better that I would be willing to sacrifice an almost 20 to 30 FPS difference for this. But you can do that if you want. But pay attention, the very high setting is using up a lot of RAM. We are now using up 15 gigabytes of RAM on a 16 gigabyte system. Now this is system wide RAM usage here. So it's not just what the game is using, but the game is using a bunch of RAM here. So it's definitely something to consider while you play like this, that while the FPS at these higher settings isn't so bad that you can't play like that, I just don't know why you would. Now here is the game running at the ultra preset which is the most demanding that it'll get and it's not too far off from where we were already at at the very high settings. Really there's not much more room for the game to use any more RAM. You know maybe if we had 32 gigabytes of RAM it would actually start to eat up even more but this is pretty much as maxed as it's going to be and the 1% lows are not bad. The averages aren't bad either. It's just one of those things where you can get a much better experience at the lower settings and I don't really see a benefit to going for the ultra reset. Of course, jumping into some actual gameplay, we can actually see how the game is performing while at the low settings, because this is how I would actually play the game on this system. Really, the other settings were kind of just to demonstrate what the chip can actually handle in terms of the game itself, but this is the ideal way of playing it. And this is just Terrorist Hunt. I don't really ever play this game multiplayer ever at all, unless I'm playing with friends, and we have not done that at this point in years, so I just would rather play the Terrorist Hunt and not ruin the game experience for any other teammates but man they have really updated the hell out of this game i think they actually recently added a team deathmatch mode on as well but really you can just see that we're getting a very very good experience here it's all above 60 even our one percent lows which means that we're not going to run into any issues and yes i understand the display on this system is of course only 60 hertz and it does have free sync so it wouldn't exactly be horrible to play this yet even the ultra settings but i just don't see why you would do that because even if you're not getting the screen tearing you are still inherently going to have more latency in between frames just because there's less frames you can't make up information that is already lost there you know if this was a single player game i'd say yeah just play with free sync on and just lock it to 60 no point in using even more performance than what the the display can handle because it just creates more heat uses more power all of that stuff but in this situation being a competitive first person shooter i feel like you're gonna benefit more from just having the unlock frame rate especially if you have a monitor so that's definitely something worth considering in this situation but overall the game is very very playable here you're going to be able to handle pretty much anything considering that we saw that it was actually able to handle it at ultra but i really really would just consider just playing this at the lowest settings i mean come on it's a competitive first person shooter what are you going to gain from the ultra settings they don't even have a single player mode here this is about as single player as it gets but anyways i hope you found this video useful if you did be sure to subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one